Welcome to Iran. We just crossed the border. It went very, very smooth. And we are finally here. Yeah, it took only one hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Compared to our friends, Chris and Laura, earlier this week. Another yeah. border crossing, 11 hours. 11 hours. Yeah. One hour and 20 minutes and we're in. Iran! And the people were very friendly. Even at the border, imagine. The Iranian border, they were the most friendly. <laughs> uh, in true Afloners Quest fashion, we don't know yet what to do here. Yeah. One thing's for sure. We go to Tabriz. We go to Tabriz right now. That's first thing. Because Chris and Laura are waiting for us. And we need money because we didn't exchange any money. So. No, and a SIM card. And a SIM card. Probably do that in Tabriz if we don't see anything on the way. Because we can't buy anything yet. Hit the road. Hit the road. Hit the road. We're ready. Woo! back again in Iran after six years and still it's such a beautiful country. Uh, our first impressions are very good, the officers are very nice, everything went very smoothly so I'm looking really forward to everything we will see here in Iran. I have a good driver. It's a very beautiful region to enter here. Yeah. Very dry, beautiful mountains. Yeah, really nice so mountains. Stunning views. Hey, hey you! Hello there! <laughs> Look what is that? Georgian Look moustache. Here. Fatima. Fatima. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome. We missed you so much. We went through an 11 hour border post. Just oh, to no. see you again. Oh. It was only one hour and 20 minutes. Good morning, friends. First morning in uh, Iran. First morning in Tabriz. Um, today we're going to. Oh, it's early. We're going to the bazaar and the Blue Mosque. And overnight, uh, this parking lot filled up with a lot of locals because there's a um, public holiday coming up and they come camping here. So hopefully our shop for uh, the SIM card is open. We've been told it's open until 2, so fingers crossed it's open, we can score one. Otherwise we are uh, without internet for 5 or 6 days. And we're going to see the Blue Mosque together with Laura and Chris. We're going to take the metro, uh, first breakfast and then we're going to leave. <laughs> we have a visitor. got out of the metro station to the stairs I'm waiting for the other ones uh, it's dirt cheap only five cents for uh, four or five stops I think we're now in the middle of the city big square so first thing to do is uh, look for a sim card and you see we're only here one day and we already already see the hospitality of the people we are looking for a sim card and already three people come to ask us what we need and where we have to go so hopefully they know where to go just exchanged some money, 200 euro, and, uh, to be honest it was a bit overwhelming. Um, they used two currencies here, Tomam and Real, and a lot of people around, so it wasn't easy to uh, get a hang of it. But uh, with the help of Chris, I think you're safe.
the Grand Bazaar of Cabris covers an area of more than one square kilometer. It is the world's largest interconnected brick complex. It has 6,500 shops, mosques, baths, schools and more. UNESCO listed since 2010, this astonishing trading hub was a major hotspot along the ancient Silk Road. The most traditional corner left of the bazaar is reserved for rugs. Hand-woven Persian rugs, of course. Tabriz is a great city, bustling with energy, full of people, merchants. It was great to wander around today. Um, it's always almost coming to an end our day. We are now had just had lunch and we are now at the Blue Mosque. Almost back at our metro stop. But uh, after this Blue Mosque, the visit was one million real. After this Blue Mosque, we're going to have a coffee. Because apparently here in Iran, there's quite a big coffee culture. So. Looking forward to a good cup of coffee, right? Oh yes, but first visiting the mosque. Blue mosque. The Blue Mosque of Tabriz, also known as the Kabut Mosque, is the most important mosque in Tabriz. It is known as Blue Mosque due to azul color of tiling on the entrance of the mosque. It was built under the orders of Yahan Shah during the 15th century. Sadly, it was widely damaged after the 70s earthquake. The last renovations were carried out in 1975. Sorry friends, forgot to pick up the camera when we returned yesterday. Had such a great evening together with Chris and Laura and this morning again. Forgot my camera. Went shopping. Uh, we went in search for a bakery and again, free bread. Don't know what happens here. Uh, today we're going to leave. Together with Chris and Laura we're going to a lake. A salt lake. Well, it was once a lake. Yeah, that's true. It all dried up, uh, it's like an uh, ecological disaster probably, it all dried up for irrigation. Uh, we're going to check that out, maybe we're going to travel a few days together, we don't know yet. Or we're going to stay there for the weekend, it's now Thursday, the uh, holiday starts until Saturday probably. Maybe we stay there a few days until the holidays are over. Yeah. But uh, it, it's, it has been a slow morning so far. I don't know what time it is, let's check. Around 10 or something? 10.30 already and we're still here and again it was very busy very busy parking lot was full of tents now it cleared out a bit already but uh, yeah if they are ready we are ready and we leave Just stopped on the side of the highway. There's a small stall selling uh, pumpkins. We're going to make pumpkin soup together with Chris and Laura and see if we have visitors. They want to see inside. Okay. We're now, I think, one hour on the road and traffic is really crazy. It's like, I don't do they know what they are doing? They're just driving left, right, not looking behind them or something. Waving at us. Try to wave at us. Someone's to see in our, into our car when we stop. 
Yeah, it's quite hectic. Very hectic, I would say. So we will look now for a stop to have a lunch. And then we will move on uh, to the lake. That's the plan for this morning and for the day. What a strange thing. A whole lake, a very big lake, that's completely dry. They told me it was because of irrigation. They used all the water, I think. Now it's like all the, the mud gets some salty, it dried out. And far behind me, maybe you can see Boris. Boris and his friend, the Kevin. This place is really nice. Really nice to walk around, see the surroundings. I love it here. To catch up with our friends Laura and Chris, we headed off to Urmia Lake for a few days. This was once the largest salt lake in the Middle East and is now a desiccated lunar landscape thanks to overdrainage and the damming of all its inlet rivers. often described as Iran's most significant ecological disaster. We find this place very beautiful and relaxing. We're on the road again. We just filled our uh, diesel tank and the price is really very expensive. It's... Will I tell it? Will I tell it? One, yeah, tell them. one cent, your cent for one liter. So we have not driving too fast and... Save on fuel. Save on fuel. Now we can fill up your tank. We have a large one, 90 liters. You can fill up for less than one euro. But it takes time because <laughs> you have to arrange uh, for a guy because you need a special card to pay the diesel wet. So it's a bit of a hassle, but it works. It's worth it. It's worth it. What a day! What a day! Started early this morning. Yeah. We left at eight. Said goodbye to Chris and Laura. Mm -hmm. First went to the gas station. First gas station of the of our trip here in Iran. Filled our tank for less than one euro. Yeah. One cent a liter. Then we drove to Sanjan. We parked in the park. Yeah. Filled up on water and waited a bit before going to town. And we met a family. We started talking. You were invited uh, in the park first. In the park for the picnic because we said we wanted to have falafel. Yeah. Coincidentally, they just made falafels. We had lunch. <laughs> so we could eat their leftovers. Yeah. It was good. We had tea together. It's all generations together. All generations yeah. together. Uh, one of the sons or the son spoke very good English. Very good. So that made it very easy. And of course, we don't need to answer. They invited us home. We tried to For dinner. ignore it. But after a while, we gave in. And we followed them to their flat. Yeah. We spent the whole evening there. Yeah. I think it's now uh, nearly one o'clock in the morning. We had a really great evening. Yeah. People were very friendly. The they food were. was delicious. Oh. For us, Western is strange because in our country they won't do it. No, in other countries we won't approach tourists because there are too many. Mm. Yeah, they made fresh food, vegan food. They all had to eat vegan. <laughs> they all had to eat vegan. And they invited he even their best friends. Yeah, tomorrow we have to go for breakfast. Uh, he will give us a tour in town, to the bazaar, yeah. to museum. And oh, and his father. Wait, I can do, I can show it. 
Uh, San John is known for its knives. Where is it? Uh, over there. Uh, San John is known for its knives. Knife Bazaar. And he gave me a real San John Iranian knife. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> real knife. Very heavy. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, it's a present. a present. Couldn't say no. I could only give them some bracelets. I made <laughs> macrame the macrame. bracelets. Woo! <laughs> so, like I said, it's one o'clock. We have to go there for breakfast. Yeah, time to sleep. Time to go to bed. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Back alone. Uh, we had breakfast with the family this morning. Actually, we had two breakfasts this morning because when we opened the door of Boris, there were two women waiting, like waiting, and they brought us breakfast. Two plates. So two breakfasts. I think no lunch this afternoon. Um, and yesterday, the guy uh, told us on the way to Kasvin, which is where we're going now. There's a uh, big dome. I can see it here. The second largest brick dome in the world. Yes. It's UNESCO World Heritage. I don't know if you heard her but it's UNESCO World Heritage so if you have to pay entrance there's a ticket booth here and we go check it out. This huge egg-shaped dome was constructed as a mausoleum in just 11 years from 1306 to 1317. From the floor to the apex of the dome is a staggering 52 meters. Days of ex extensive driving. We almost covered 900 kilometers in one week and uh, three days. Oh, we are now in Qom, the second most holy city in uh, Iran. Going to visit Fatima Shrine right. after lunch. And maybe visit the bazaar too. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, now I'm again. But uh, yesterday it was, hard. it was really late. We had. We didn't thought at around 5 o'clock it was getting dark already. 6. It came dark at 6. Dark really 6. Yeah. So we arrived around 7.30 at our spot. Pitch black, no lights everywhere. So I discovered I knew I had a bit of night blindness, but uh, it's getting worse and worse. Red, lunchtime. Course. Few things we learned so far. Roads are not the best condition. No. Uh, Toll roads are for free. You have to pay for it sometimes. It's uh, with a, uh, they pay with a card, the Iranian people. But when they see a foreigner, they say, Welcome, Welcome to Iran. And then they say, Go, go, thank you. Go, go, thank you. Where am I? Back to square one. Um, Holy Shrine is open, although a lot of shops are closed, probably siesta, but the Holy Shrine is open until 9 this evening, but uh, no cameras allowed. And uh, instead of leaving our camera at the baggage, uh, luggage storage, it's better to bring it back to we Boris. walk back to Boris. And come back tonight? 
or in the afternoon, but first... Coffee time. And tonight maybe falafel time. You <laughs> promised the guy yeah. of the falafel place. Nom 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 nom. First falafel. First bread with falafel in uh, Iran. No, we had one. Oh, we had one, half one to share in uh, Zanjan. Very right. good one. First coffee. The only coffee shop in the neighborhood here was closed. And now we end up in a fancy hotel with a coffee shop. And with AC. When you wear a lot of clothes, it's nice to have AC. The Fatimi Masumi Shrine dominates the skyline of Qom. This magnificent building is located in the center of the city and the history of these buildings dates back to the 3rd century. Today, the shrine is surrounded by different courtyards and porches where we admired the intricate tile work. Our wonderful and very interesting visit. Time for a uh, falafel. <laughs> very tasty sandwich. Samosa. Back in the city, still in Kom, had a quiet night, and yesterday our visit to the shrine was. It's Spot on, so unbelievable. Beautiful. And the so friendly there. people. We had a guide, yep. spoke perfectly English. Sarah, she was perfect mm. for us. Yeah. We could ask her questions so about the religion and everything. Yeah. It's so, now oh. <laughs> so now we're making our way. So now we are making our way to the bazaar yeah. for uh, some last-minute shopping. Yeah. We need veggies and uh, fruit. I think this afternoon we make our way to Kashan. Yeah, because we want to stay at the Caravanserai. It's one that's closed. It's closed, but uh, we're going to check it out. Maybe it's just nice to stay around the Caravanserai in nature before going to Kashan tomorrow. If not, we go to Kashan this evening. We will yeah. see. It's not that far from here. But first, shopping in the bazaar. And maybe eat falafel for lunch again. <laughs> oh, it was so tasty yesterday. Yeah, we go back. Yeah. And a coffee? Coffee, falafel. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Busy day ahead. Good day, sir. Yeah, I don't know when we will reach the bazaar because we always get distracted. Now we have a huge mosque, stunning mosque with a huge square in front checking of it. Out, checking out, where we are. Oh, people ask us, local people ask us when we said we go to Qom. Why are you going to Qom? This is why we come to Qom. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we made it to the bazaar, finally. First is the clothes section, but uh, now we have to look for the food section. And as I always, fresh tahini. I saw it's it amazing. Another mall. Ah, yeah, fresh tahini oh, for with yeah. our Iranian breads. Same as yesterday. Yeah. It's good coffee here. It's and our shopping this morning wasn't a success. No. Didn't find uh, any fruit or vegetables in the market, bazaar. If it's a maze and it's very difficult to find what you need. If you would need textiles 
Vans, we saw them all, but nothing we wanted. No. But no worries, we can survive a few days. Yeah. Till Esfahan? Probably. But now, enjoy the coffee and the AC, because it was hot this morning in the bazaar. It's a private coffee shop, there's nobody <laughs> here, because it's a hotel, most of the people are there. Check it, checking out. Check it out. Quick stop uh, before we go into the Karan Serai. We are now at Jamkaran Mosque in honor of the sixth, no, eighth Imam, I guess. Eighth Imam. <laughs> eighth imam. Uh, we're going to leave the camera here, just like yesterday at the shrine, uh, just to be sure. I don't think we can't take it with us, so we're going to fill a few shots with our camera, uh, with our with phone. Photo phone. Photo phone. Photo phone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right, go. <laughs> what a fantastic first week here in Iran. Yes. It was incredible. <laughs> we enjoyed it so much. We had so much contact with the local people, with the Iranian people. It was amazing. And we are already looking forward to the coming weeks. Tomorrow we drive to Kashan, old merchant house, and this weekend the day after we... To Esfahan? Esfahan, we've been there six years ago, had a great time, it's a great square there and going cruise, back. It will be the same as before, yeah, because, because now we are with the van and yeah. before we the backpack. And we will meet our agent there, the agency who arranged our Iranian yeah. visa. Very good, so we're looking Mark forward to Val. meet them, have dinner or lunch maybe together, we will see. But will see. for now, we end this vlog. I hope you are looking forward as much as we do to the next vlog. Yeah, so like this one. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave, leave a, comment. a comment. See you next week, still in Iran. Yeah, and enjoy this amazing caravan Serai. Bye bye. Bye.